How's it going, brothers? Raider Knight. Today we're doing something completely different. We're doing an Asian video, but the entire continent is empty except for Burma, which I forgot to remove, but that's fine. We're gonna keep Myanmar there. It doesn't really matter. Uh, it really won't make too much of a difference with all the colonization, but uh, yeah, I did make that mistake, so they're still here on the map. And I kind of don't want to fix it, but uh, yeah, we have loaded in the entire map without Asia. We're going to see what happens. It'll be interesting. It's an AI battle. I'm playing as Jamaica, and I'm going to recruit a couple troops uh, just to make sure that I do not get defeated uh, in this game. Obviously, the map, it likes to always move over to these areas. Uh, when Age of Civilizations 2 comes out, you actually will be able to have a spectator mode anyway, so it'll be a lot more easy to do AI battles in it. But uh, for this one, we're just going to, again, do what we always do. Build a lot of troops in our country and just kind of watch what happens. So I think that'll be fine. Uh, obviously, Burma, they have a, a pretty unfair advantage, but I don't know. I think they, they still will not win. Uh, there's pr well, they might win. I don't know. We're just gonna have to see what happens. Burma off to a, a really good start, like we predicted, but there actually is a lot of other countries in the area, so uh, it's not really that big of a, a difference. So I don't think Burma will be as strong as we think they will be. So I think it's fair. I just want to see what happens when this whole continent uh, gets filled up. Only a couple spots left. And boom, there we go. So for the first time, the continent is filled up, except for this little territory in the middle of nowhere, but that's fine. So obviously, again, Burma did get a unfair advantage at the start, but they really didn't get too much from it, so I'm, I'm fine with that. Uh, the Philippines looking pretty good, Japan looking really good. Norway, obviously, all these border nations, I'm surprised Belarus got that far, but Ukraine, definitely a powerhouse. They could be really powerful. Spain? <laughs> what the fuck is Spain doing over here? I've never seen that. That's great though. That's, the, that's like the best thing that's happened. Uh, and then you got Madagascar. Again, how the fuck did Spain get over here? But uh, yeah. And you have Egypt. Obviously Egypt. I forgot all about them. But they could play a role in this. Pretty interesting. I'm surprised Greece wouldn't be taking that land, but no, it, it's Spain out of all countries. Spain has all of this. That's pretty crazy. That's, uh, I've never seen that. Okay, let's uh, speed it up a couple turns to turn 15. I kind of want to just see what happens. Obviously, we have the other areas to look at also. Uh, I didn't even really care to glance at them, but again, Algeria, uh, DR Congo, Nambia, South Africa, all, all good nations to look at. Obviously, Madagascar has power. Uh, will they survive? Probably not. They got a lot of enemies. Brazil, well, actually, it's kind of even down here right now. USA looking really good, though. They might win the whole thing. And Spain. I, I still don't know how you did that. Uh, even this country isn't looking that bad, and that's kind of interesting. Sweden, uh, they could actually make a big difference if they take Norway over. Uh, Sweden could be invincible if they do that. Obviously, Burma is a unfair country, but I don't think they're going to win. Speed it up a, a little bit more to turn 20. Japan looking really good, like I said. Uh, yeah, I didn't look at who's the, the top. Ooh, Egypt. Uh, Egypt's looking really interesting. I've never seen the border look like that. That's awesome. I need to do more scenarios like this. It really makes the the game a lot, uh, I don't know, different. Uh, obviously, the Philippines aren't looking that good. Even Burma is not doing that good. They're having some problems with uh, Australia. I still, I want to know how Spain did this. If Spain wins this game, that'll be the best thing. I'm actually rooting for Spain. They have Greenland. They have... All this land over here, I don't even know how they got that, but I'm rooting for Spain. If you guys aren't rooting for Spain, uh, you're just a hater at this point. Japan, though, obviously Japan is probably going to win. They're looking really good also. Ukraine, barely holding on, and 
uh, Norway actually will probably defeat Sweden. So pretty cool USA actually not really doing that well against uh, Brazil and a pretty much pointless conflict in South America. So other than that, everything is pretty much the same. So let's speed up to turn 25. I want to see what nation is on top also at turn 25. I think it's going to be Japan. Yes, it is. So you got Japan, Brazil, Norway, the USA. Obviously, there's a three-way tie. And you have Egypt. Pretty cool. Uh, this is pretty cool, though. Uh, I did not expect Egypt to do that good. Uh, obviously, yeah, they had a border with Asia, so they could get some land, but they really got an interesting country right now. I've never seen this type of border in this game ever form up from an AI nation, so I really like that. Uh, Japan looking incredible. They might win the whole thing, but it really depends who wins this battle between uh, these two countries. I think that'll be the deciding factor. Spain, I was rooting for them the whole game, but they're not. They need to pick it up if they're going to win. Burma, they failed. We already knew they weren't going to do that good. Australia looks a lot better than them. So I'm going to speed it up to turn 30, and we're going to see what happens. Probably not too many changes, to be honest, but there might be something big. We never know. Obviously, Brazil is starting to get pushed back because they're in a two-front war against Argentina and America. So one of these countries are going to win. I'm not sure. Uh, obviously, Africa is probably going to go to Egypt, but you never know, because Spain has actually taken a lot of land. Spain is looking really good. If Spain keeps it up, heck, Spain should honestly attack Japan right now. That'd be their the smartest move they made all game, but uh, I'm pretty interested to see where Spain goes. Burma not looking good, and Australia looking really good. Going to go to turn 35, probably. So obviously Japan is in first place, USA second, Egypt third, Australia fourth, Brazil fourth, and Norway fourth. Uh, another three-way tie, so I'll just mention all of them. Pretty cool, and Spain is catching up. Spain is one away, so they're pretty much tied with Norway essentially. So I'm rooting for Spain, I really want them to win. Obviously they got a lot of enemies, but I really want Spain to win. Uh, Australia looking good, obviously. Actually, Egypt isn't doing as good as I thought they would. They should have taken this whole continent by now. Egypt honestly could win the game, but they're not doing the best. Japan looking really good, and USA looking pretty good also. I'm going to speed it up to, like, turn 50 or something crazy. I just really want to see what happens, and we know it's going to take a while uh, with what all countries are. Uh, formed up right now. They're all pretty powerful, so I want to just speed up uh, through a lot of this. Turn 50. Who is number one? Japan, USA, Egypt, Australia, and Brazil. Obviously, Spain has fallen, but oh well. So, Brazil is going to lose to America. America will win. Uh, the real question is, will Japan be able to defeat the USA? I'm not sure. Egypt is not looking good at all. They should have won a long time ago. They let the DR Congo get too powerful. I, I had a good thought Egypt was going to win. How Burma is still alive, I have no clue. And Australia is still doing alright. Gonna speed it up again to like turn 70. Uh, just to see what happens. It's probably gonna be Japan and USA. And usually in the scenario where the old world... Uh, takes all this land, it's always going to be the old world victory most of the time, but you never really know. So the USA is just attacking me at this point. Uh, obviously they're never going to stop doing that. Uh, Japan is the number one nation, USA second, Egypt third, Congo in fourth, and uh, who's that fifth? Australia is fifth. Spain could probably become uh, fifth if they worked a little bit harder, but probably not. Uh, yeah. It's pretty much self-explanatory how this game is going to go. 
DR Congo is not going to give up. Uh, Egypt is going to get defeated pretty easily by Japan. And you can probably guess the rest. But I'm going to speed it up just to make sure. Obviously the USA will never attack Japan because they're just going to attack me till the end of time. So that is going to be their downfall. But yeah, you guys get the point. Japan has already taken over pretty much everything. They're going after Egypt. They, they took Egypt's capital in one turn. So actually the DR Congo uh, might actually have a chance. Uh, it's going to be close, but obviously I think Japan will still win. I'm just going to speed it up so you can see Japan win. So you you know I'm not lying, essentially. Uh, yeah, Japan's doing really good. They've taken the Congo's capital. And, yeah, you can kind of guess the rest from here. Obviously, Ireland survived, so that's kind of interesting also. But, yeah, there's pretty much no reason to continue this. It's pretty much confirmed Japan's going to win. So if Asia was empty, obviously Japan would win. So I know Japan is a part of Asia, but it was an island. So I kind of thought I'd keep some of these Oceania islands and I'd keep Japan also. But yeah, that's what happens. Hopefully you enjoy this little AI battle and I'll see you all in the next one. Peace.